everyone, my name is Nirina. Today I am going to present my innovative art integrated project for science, Waste to Water, a treatment plant. We all have wondered at one point, where does the water we use go and does it get reused? The answer sits right in front of me. This is a working model of a wastewater treatment plant. I have used for this project plastic basins, batteries, plastic boxes, thermocore, foam board, chart paper, cotton and to show the different filtration processes I have used stones, gravel, charcoal, sand and cotton. This entire process starts in the factories where the used water is stored in a wastewater storage basin. From here it is pushed through the filtration processes such as stones, gravel, charcoal, sand and cotton where it ends up finally in the purified water storage basin. From here it is distributed to the residential areas to be used for various purposes. Now let me demonstrate. As you can see, the water has passed through the first filtration system, the stones, and is now passing through the gravel. The filtration process has finished the second step which is gravel and now it is moving through the charcoal. Now it has finished the third process of filtration and is moving to the fourth one, the sand. The fifth step of filtration is complete. It is now moving through the cotton. Stones, gravel and sand act as a filter bed, trapping the pollutants from the wastewater. As it passes through each layer, the pores get smaller and smaller, trapping smaller particles of these pollutants, thus making the water come out clear. The charcoal also removes toxins from the water while not stripping it of any important minerals or its salts. Cotton boils, meanwhile, trap the largest particles of the pollutants, eventually resulting in purified water collection. My project helps to achieve SDG 6, Clean Water and Sanitation, and SDG 13, Climate Action. This project not only helps in reusing water, but also achieving a bigger goal, sustainability, by saving the water for future generations. Thank you.